The grants for refusal of recognition or enforcement of interim measure in Article 17i follow the grounds in the New York Convention, that is, invalidity of the arbitration agreement, a party was not given due notice, the decision falls outside the arbitration agreement, composition of the tribunal was not in accordance with the party's agreement, or in the absence of agreement, the law of the seat, the dispute is not arbitrable or is contrary to the public policy of the state. But it adds three additional grounds specific to interim measures. These are the tribunal's decision on the provision of security in connection with the interim measure has not been complied with. The interim measure has been terminated or suspended by the tribunal or was so empowered by the court of the state in which the arbitration takes place or under the law of which that interim measure was granted. The interim measure is incompatible with the powers conferred upon the court unless the court decides to reformulate the interim measure to the extent necessary to adapt it to its own powers and procedures for the purposes of enforcing that interim measure and without modifying its substance. The court may refuse enforcement of this last ground and also on the grounds of arbitrability and public policy on its own finding. In all other cases, it can only refuse enforcement on the application of the respondent. Any determination made by the court on any ground for refusal of enforcement is effective only for the purposes of the enforcement of the interim measure. The court with recognition or enforcement is thought shall not, in making that determination, undertake a review of the substance of the interim measure. The conditions set out in Article 17i are intended to limit the number of circumstances in which the court may refuse to enforce an interim measure. It would not be contrary to the level of harmonization sought to be achieved by the model law if a state were to adopt fewer circumstances in which enforcement may be refused, reflecting the pro-enforcement policy of the New York Convention and the model law. Some countries where the 2006 amendments did not apply have enacted their own legislation recognizing interim measures issued by tribunals outside its territory. In Singapore, this is achieved by including interim measures within the definition of a foreign award.